Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to try something very special, something I really wrote in my GTE because I really went to Australia because I really wanted to try Koi Dessert Bar and now we are here in Chippendale and actually it's nice here because it actually looks like Hong Kong so much and um, it's very homey and I'm excited to try Koi because it's something similar for me, um, para siyang Dominic Ansel for me and actually I'm not really a fan of super sweet things but I really love exploring pastries and this is how I learn. I try and taste different kinds of cakes and pastries here in Australia. Here. And so this is the Koi dessert bar and then the one on top is the tasting menu of parang mga desserts niya and um, some savory dishes and then we also have the monkey's corner also owned by um, Chef Reynold. So I think this Koi dessert bar is open until 10 p.m. unlike the usual cafes that opens only until 6 so that is very nice of them. So let's check out their pastry case. It is very very beautiful and sophisticated. So the prices vary from 15 to 30 dollars per slice. So this is what I got. I only actually bought two cakes because I cannot finish it. <laughs> so this is what I got. I got the Mont Blanc. This is the Mont Blanc and this is like a strawberry strawberry matcha and almond cake. And so this is the Mont Blanc cake. So I think these are um, candied chestnuts and then I think there's a chestnut cream and maybe a daco in the middle and let's actually taste it because I actually forgot to see the description of this cake. But we usually make this back in France. I'm excited to try Chef Reynolds version of this. And so let's try this cake. I didn't actually do dine-in because I want to talk loud and clear so that I can explain it better. Kasi pag nasa loob ako, mahiya akong magsalita. So I'm doing it again in a garden. So let's try this. Let's try the candied um, chestnut pala first. Mm. It's really chestnut. Mm. So look at those layers. There's so many layers. I can't imagine how um, so much work has gone into this slice of cake. And that's something I miss because usually back in Dominic Ansel, we'd also do a lot of these types of cakes and the textures and flavors are really really worth it with all those um, layers in it. Mm. I love the parang biscuit at the bottom it's crunchy and then you have like a chestnut 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 jam in the middle and then like a mousse here on top like a chocolate i think chocolate chestnut mousse it's really really good let's take another bite It is so perfect. Wow. So much hard work, so much respect for people who does pastries like this. And so much thought went into this, so I really appreciate, I really enjoy tasting different flavors that's made into a cake like this. So much art. So this is the strawberry matcha almond cake. So I think it's layers of like almond daco again with some matcha cream, sponge and strawberry cream and I think that's also a candied strawberry on top. Let's taste what this herb here, what herb is this and what are these um, um, wiggling white something on top. 
So now let's try the strawberry almond matcha cake. Let's first try what these white things are. I think maybe it's maybe I don't think it's chocolate. Maybe it's like a twill. Mmm. It's white chocolate. Mm. And then I think this is dried strawberries and I don't know what this leaf is. I think dill? I don't know. The taste of the herb is so familiar. I think it's like fennel, fennel, fennel leaves. So now let's try the cake. Imagine layers of um, almond, matcha, strawberry. So Asian flavor, so happy. And the other one is very French flavors, which I'm so happy as well. So now let's try this. The bottom layer is so good. I think there's like a a lychee also. At, I think here. I think the white one is lychee, which is so refreshing. It's not so sweet as well. I think these are the types of cakes that I can really eat and say that I cannot be guilty with because it is really worth the calories. This is actually sixteen dollars. The other one is also sixteen dollars and. Yes, it is expensive, but if you think about the effort that went inside these layers, you'd really say that it's really worth the price. And if you have, of course, like me, I've worked in a bakery like this, in a dessert shop like this, I know how much effort they put into these kinds of desserts. And look, they even have uh, like a jelly on top just to have that um, clear finish, a glossy finish to make the cakes really, really beautiful. So let's try it again. Mm. Actually, the staff was also recommending a jasmine coconut cake, which I think is really good as well because I love jasmine flavors. But then I only have one stomach and I don't want to eat so much calories because it's still sugar. But this is really, really worth the calories. So if you are in Sydney, Australia, I recommend that you drop by Koi Desert Bar. It is really something worth exploring too. If you, have, if you are interested to learn about um, different flavors, not just the usual um, red velvet, not just the usual chocolate cakes, you would really enjoy. It is like traveling all over the world with the cakes here at Koi Desert Bar. So... If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching this video and see you on my next vlog. Bye. -bye.